Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm back to cast another awesome 2v2 for you tonight, and this one will be on Tempest, and it will be between Claymon, the Red Protoss, his partner will be IG Ware, the Blue Zerg, and oh by the way, Claymon and IG Ware, they just took over number one overall in the entire world for 2v2 arranged teams, um, Avril Duze and Closing Time moving down to number two. So, um, <laughs> apparently some really odd uh, uh, trash talking going on right now. Either TQ State is a woman, or he's gay, or he's just kidding, or strange stuff going on. But either way, um, the opponents of this super awesome number one team is going to be Legend, the Teal Zerg, and his <laughs> partner TQ State, the Purple uh, Terran. I have no way I can keep up with... Um, what is going on here right now um, I did notice that Eric is legend because he has sent me some games before and they were they've all been super awesome and as usual I will not be telling you who sends me the game because um, so far pretty much almost all the time when players send me their games uh, they won that particular game so I've been that is why I've been refraining from telling you who has sent them to me until after the game however it should be noted that Qbert of the famous Team Empire team, um, with him and Aristeo, Qbert um, somehow he came across my channel, and he um, was and he sent, he dropped me an email um, with a epic uh, pack of games that actually includes both wins and losses of him against. Uh, there's nine games in that pack against EG uh, members of Team uh, Evil Genius, uh, Strife Crow and Axlav played nine games against Airstay and Cubert, so I'm looking forward to doing those, and those will be extremely epic. And I will be able to say, hey, guess what? Cubert sent me these games because there's also losses in them. So if I say Cubert sent them to me, it won't ruin the game. <laughs> so as it looks like Claymon thought about throwing a second gateway down here in the front and then canceled it. Interesting there. But um, these players in this game all super top-notch, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, it looks like IG Ware will just now be getting his uh, Zergling speed out and Legend slightly behind on that speed. And um, it looks like these, well, these scouting uh, units um, playing cat and mouse here. Um, but nothing, nothing really going on right now. Legend actually only has two Zerglings out, um, which is uh, surprising for him because I'm used to him pumping out a bunch of quick uh, Zerglings and starting to pressure. But the Banley's Nest is on the way for Legend, so that's going to come up big here very soon. Depending on what IG Ware decides to do, no Banley's Nest on the way for him yet. He's just continuing to inject Larva right now with this Queen, and are we possibly going to be seeing a second hatchery in the main as he is reaching critical mass of 300 minerals? Meanwhile, Zerglings are going to be trading eye for an eye. That probe somehow got caught up in that battle, and it quickly goes down Legend. Gonna have to retreat with these Zerglings because of the shorter reinforcing distance of IG Ware, but more Zerglings are coming in from Legend, so they will be going back and forth or not. Looks like Legend did lose an Overlord somewhere as he is supply blocked right now. So not until not until he builds another uh, an Overlord will he be able to make any more units. He's gonna need two because he actually has more Zerglings coming out right now. So is he going to continue the pressure? Going to opt to occupy this center watchtower. Meanwhile, uh, IG Ware and Claymon sitting back. And if they wait too long, Claymon's uh, warp gates are going to kick in here. As it looks like he's got a third gateway on the way. And I'm wondering, is he going to be throwing down a fourth gateway to complete the four gate? Or will he be trying to take up more cat and mouse going on from these Zerglings right here? And Legend looks like thinking about trying to upgrade into some Bane. There comes a Baneling out from behind the trees, and it actually looked like it only killed one or two Zerglings there, but that could have been deadly. So I got a little carried away there. There's something about Banelings blowing up on Zerglings and Marines that just makes me completely raise my voice and go absolutely, absolutely insane. So any of you guys who are watching this have probably been used to my casting style by now, so I apologize if uh, you end up having to cover your ears at some point. Just turn down the overall volume at the beginning of the cast so that when I start yelling, you don't hurt your ears as more, more Zerglings are streaming in. And Legend actually with a nice, nice number of nine Banelings here. And Marines are on the way out from TQ State. He actually has a uh, siege tank and siege tech on the way as well already. As these uh, as these Zerglings occupying the watchtower, and could these Banelings sneak up on these Zerglings? And actually, IG Ware has a bunch of Banelings of his own, so we are going to be playing 
Baneling, Cat and Mouse here in the middle. Zerglings, oh, Legend lost a bunch of his Zerglings there. And now pulling those Banelings all blowing up on each other. And look at TQ State's Marines getting completely surrounded. IG Wear and Claymont have a hugely superior army right now. What are they going to be able to do at this point? And look at Legend is trying to reinforce this fight. But look at but look at all with all these stalkers and Zerglings on the field. This is going to be practically impenetrable at this moment in the game. TQ State and Legend are definitely on the defensive with this siege tank could make a big difference if positioned properly. It is going to be sitting way back in the in here in the back. The siege tank is finished. It is going to siege up. These Banelings may get taken out before they can finish. Actually, two of these Banelings are going to finish as the tank and Marines will ward this back. That one tank is going to be keeping them alive right now. Got to be careful if these Zerglings can kill that tank. They are in a lot of trouble. There are a bunch of Banelings for IG Wear. And are they going to be able to run into... Oh, Banelings all blowing up on each other. And Legend saving a couple of his Banelings in that process. He actually still has one Baneling left, but that's not going to matter. These, these Stalkers were trying to take out these tanks, but it's not going to be enough as TQ State is able to hold with marines and tanks and critical right there something to pay close attention to what happened was legend actually took half his banelings and sent them into ig wears ball of all of his banelings and that way he was able to save a couple of his banelings to use after that and did kill a bunch of zerglings from ig wear after that initial engagement so um, I'm learning as I go here from watching these games and that is something that I can take away from this because it's always it always gets a little bit, uh, I get a little bit uptight, uptight and a little bit nerve-wracked when I have a bunch of banelings and I'm going against a bunch of banelings because you're like, oh crap, what are we gonna, what am I gonna do? And I usually end up sending my banelings into their banelings to cancel each other out. But notice what Legend did there. He actually took, he saved about a third. He saved like two of his banelings and he sent in four of them and actually blew up about eight of IG Ware's banelings. So it was a definitely favorable exchange there, but neither. But either way, these tanks coming out from TQ State were so clutch there to save that base and force the stalkers back. There are more and more banelings for IG Wear. So um, actually, Legend is going to be uh, morphing in all of these initial Zerglings into uh, banelings. So he's going to have eight on the way, and he still has this one left over from before. And now the tables have turned. TQ State and Legend are on the offensive. And uh oh, these stalkers getting a little bit overexposed to those marauders with the stim there. And Tiki State was able to kill a few of those stalkers and actually going to be continuing to fall back. More and more stalkers are warping in. There are three warp gates and blink technology is on the way. And he actually has Zealot Charge queued up this early in the game. I'm very surprised at that for Claymon, but we'll see if it does come into play as he desperately needs more and more units right now as TQ State with these siege tanks is going to creep forward and they're in a lot of trouble. Might have to try and break this right now. These Banelings from IG Wear need to come down here and get the themselves into this battle, but Claymon is actually going to fall back and force these tanks to leapfrog once again. But actually these uh, Marines and Marauders are able to reach the front pylons for Claymon, but I think he's not too concerned at this point if that does go down. Now these Stalkers are going to start shooting back with the Siege Tank support. Look at the nice placement from TQ State. Oh, he's got his Siege Tanks out of range from the Stalkers on the ledge, but still able to shoot these buildings and stuff in the front. And this choke point is going away in a hurry. This robotic facility is a little bit possibly too late. Needs to try and grab an Immortal out of there or something. But they are in a lot of trouble as Tiki State and Legend are going to be continuing to crawl in here. IG Ware could try and trap these units right now if he came out, but what is he doing? Here he comes. It looks like I'm checking the minimap. Here come the Zerglings and Banelings are on the way out. Look at the spread on the Banelings from Legend. is actually going to send them right into these roaches. And oh man, Legend just totally forced back IG Ware's army. And TQ State is continuing to shell away at Claymon's front. And they're in so much trouble right now. Legend definitely with the upper hand. A few more roaches are popping out just at the nick of time for, for uh, IG Ware. But now the stim has gone off. The Marines and Marauders continuing to be reinforced by TQ State. Legend and TQ State have, uh, they have uh, established those expansions. And this is pretty much just cleanup duty at this point. And I see no way as, as he just pushes in right there and annihilates Claymon's army. Um, the charge will not even finish on the Twilight Council research here for Claymon. Way too many probes in this one uh, base. IG Wear, there's not much he can do at this point. He has a bunch of roaches here. But it's going to be too little, too late. And just uh, 
We are just going to, basically the only thing that is in doubt at this point is the final uh, time, which none of you can see. Oh, well, you can see this timer. <laughs> so, but me with my super cool little logo, you guys can't tell what how much time is actually left and when this game is going to end. But in my opinion, game over. Roach is going to try and make a final stand, but it looks like the Zerglings, um, just mass Zerglings from Legend going to surround that. So, wow, an incredible game right there. This was sent to me by Legend. Thank you, Legend, for sending me uh, this game. I know he has, Legend has sent me a whole bunch of games, but um, I've been getting so many awesome replays lately, I can't get to everybody, so I'm doing my best. Don't get upset with me, you guys, if, you, if I haven't gotten to your replay yet. But this game particularly was incredibly, incredibly fun to cast. Definitely a pleasure. Well defended here at the beginning. beginning I thought that Legend and... Uh, at that Legend and TQ State were in huge, huge, huge trouble there after this engagement in the middle, but out of nowhere, they were able to defend this. The tanks, uh, the quick tanks coming out from TQ State and the nice Baneling Micro in this one instance here from Legend. I know, I know he has great Baneling Micro all over the place, as you saw him with that spread earlier when, they, when he was trying to attack up here, but in this instance in particular, he was able to save some of him, his banelings and destroy all of IGWare's banelings. That made a big difference as well as the tanks from TQ State. And I've been repeating myself. So thank you guys for watching. This is Irie Starcraft. Thumbs up my vids and sub to my channel if you like it. And peace out.